So where are we at today? We are at Tim's house, tractor time with Tim, just northwest of Indianapolis. And we brought some equipment out to play with here today. And if you've seen his channel, you know that he's got Ventrac stuff on it already. But we wanted to bring him a special new attachment that at the moment, nobody has seen yet. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of mowing on his property with our new wide area mower. So if we're doing the wide area mower, then why is the boom mower on the tractor? But well, we also wanted to bring a boom mower to use, but we had to put the wide area mower on the back of our tractor on the three point hitch to get it over the wheel wells on this trailer. And that's one of the first questions people ask when they do see this thing, because it's so big, is how do I trailer it? So if you want your tractor, if you want the deck on the front of the trailer, you're gonna have to put it on the three point and raise it above the wheel wells. If it's on the front of the tractor, you can load it up just on the back of the trailer. You can either have it sitting on the overhang or you can flip the deck up itself and just have it in transport mode vertical and it'll only occupy a foot or so of the trailer. So there are some options, but this is one way to do it. How big is the wide area mower? The wide area mower is 95 inches worth of cut and its overall width is about 96. All right. So. This one looks a lot cleaner. Sorry now, this one that. looks this one looks well loved. Yeah. Well used. Well, he was used last night till about 8:30. Yeah, in a very very dusty environment. Yeah. <laughs> now I do not need any additional weeds. Oh, that one they have with them. There? <laughs> Within six hours, we got a branch in there. <laughs> I didn't, it was, I didn't say it was an easy six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where this thing's been? Yeah. <laughs> Just out in the big yard. Okay. I Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, basically it's, it's going to be the exact same setup as you got before. Uh, I've got three-point hitch. This one has a hydraulic top link. Hydraulic top link. That'll so, be nice. Yeah, that's nice. And you control that with these levers over here. Okay. And we're really excited about it because it's, like I said, it's a big, fast mower. Right. That's the, that's the thing. It's, it's big and fast. It should get a lot of work done and save people a lot of time. What's your thoughts? I like it. <laughs> this is really nice. I love how close I could trim around the electric fence and I felt like I could see very well and I didn't have to worry about that side discharge. That's so much nicer. I don't have to worry about which direction I'm going and um, I really like it. And Thank I you, Aaron. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> you want me to try it? I, I think I might try it at high speed and see if I can oh, go a little go. faster yet, see where the limits are at the moment. Mm -hmm. Now, don't break it, Aaron. Oh. <laughs> if, I, if I break it, I'll fix it. <laughs> I don't think it's breakable. So Tim, what's it like to have other people mow your lawn for you? Well, I'm doing the Tom Sawyer thing yet again. 
no no worries about that i it seems like most of the time i'm able to find somebody else to do my work for me it's a pretty good position to be in yeah i kind of like that maybe maybe you and aaron can stick around <laughs> Incredibly challenging to cut this type of thing. The uh, fox tail that's growing up here is so much heavier than regular grass. It's really hard to make this cut. It does not take long at all. I mean, we just what you mowed five minutes here and you mowed half my yard. No, I mean it wasn't half, but it's a, <laughs> it's a big, big portion. A big portion. That, that's the thing with this deck. It's just, it's fast. Christy's gonna love this. I think you're scoring points with me, Aaron. <laughs> Do you think this will uh, count for flowers or, you know, any jewelry see, see, or anything? We, we just gotta, you, you, you need to set it up right. When we go back in, you just need to be like, you know, he really didn't want to bring this out here. I, I had to try really hard to get him. Yeah, in. yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what it we'll do. Your, it was your idea, and I had to be convinced. And then, <laughs> <laughs> young married man here, he's got it down. I'm trying to be, I'm just trying to be an old married man. <laughs> 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 trying my best. <laughs> You and Christy have both been soft on this thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I've seen you out here and you're just mowing the flat level ground. You're just kind of driving along. I think you're too timid. Okay. I want to try it on something you know, tougher. Let's try a hill. All right, do it. predictions on this I can tell you that there's a uh, spot right down here that a six foot mower even has a little trouble uh, with a hump the hump's not very wide it, it's kind of a peak and I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna try to position this a worst case just to see if I can make it scalp to be honest um, after all I don't care if it looks bad I'm gonna try to make it look bad now the road side of the ditch is steeper and really the Ventrac shines on that steepness but with the 72 inch deck, it's just the same width as the duals. And so I can set it right down in there and it sets fine. So I'm curious to see if the extra what foot or so on the outside makes it more difficult to mow. So that's the two tests we're gonna do here. What do we see here? What you don't actually see is probably what's more important in this specific spot. So you see this wheel here contacting pretty close to the ridge. So this would be the, the top of the ridge and you would you'd probably be ripping this all the way down if it wasn't for, there's another anti-scalp wheel just like this one on the inside of the deck. Oh. Just next to the blade on the inside that's probably closer to this zone helping keep this deck away from me. Oh, yeah. so I thought, I thought I was really stressing it by trying to not to have this wheel right on the hump, like you just pointed out. But you're saying since there's another one under there that That's, you cheated. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't showed you the bottom of the deck yet, but 
It's there. <laughs> I mean, it. I thought maybe it was the rear striping roller. That helps. That, that was holding. That it does up. help. Yeah. But folks, it, it, we look here and we can't see any even low cutting, right? It's 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 that held up perfectly. Good. Yeah. Now of course the end's hanging up up here, but that's okay. I mean, better hang up than scalp it. Yeah. So uh, this is. So far, you're passing, Aaron. Well, thank you. <laughs> much, much as I hate it. Hey, this is Tim with Tractor Time with Tim. Check out our full review of this wide area mower over on our channel.